The nominations for the 93rd Academy Awards have been announced, and while the ceremony itself has been pushed back to a later date than usual, it seems that the overall buzz is still prominent. And it's not just discussions about the here and now, we do love to talk about the history of the Oscars, the previous winners, the milestones, the surprises, sometimes even the gaffes. Leading the way this year is Mank, directed by David Fincher, with 10 nominations. Now while the number of nominations that film has received is not indicative of its quality, as each and every film has a quality or heart that is unique to them and what they bring to the audience watching, it has got me thinking, what if there was that one film that took the world by storm and swept up the Academy Awards? How many awards can a film actually win? How many awards is a film even eligible to win? The answer is surprisingly both easier and more complicated than I first thought. So the current record holder of film with the most Oscar nominations is actually shared between three films, All About Eve, James Cameron's Titanic, and La La Land, all with an incredible 14 nominations. While the record for film that walked home with the most Oscars is also shared between three films, this time, Titanic shares the honour with Ben-Hur and Lord of the Rings The Return of the King, as each film won an astounding 11 Academy Awards. Peter Jackson's fantasy epic is particularly noteworthy because it is the largest clean sweep in Oscar history, as it won in every category that it was nominated for. But what if our film went that extra step? How many Oscars could our hypothetical film potentially win? We'll get into that, but first I want to lay down two ground rules for this little experiment. Rule number one. I will be sticking to one nomination per category. While it is possible for certain categories to hold multiple nominations from the same film, and this can boost the numbers up, I want to see if it's possible to surpass our goal with what we have. Rule number two, I will be using the awards that are currently featured in this year's coming Oscars. So for example, any former awards such as sound editing and sound mixing will not be listed as they have now currently merged into a single awards for best sound. Okay, so before we begin, we need to know what type of film we are going to be submitting, such as short films and documentaries. Unfortunately, we are going to have to quickly leave behind short films, as they would be omitted from a majority of the categories due to requirements for feature films eligible to be over 40 minutes in length, while short films have to remain under that time frame. Now, documentaries are an interesting topic because I was certain that they would be unable to compete for many of the awards that are usually filled by their feature film counterparts. But... You know those family films where our plucky heroes need one more member for their sports team and the dog is more than happy to compete because he's the goodest boy and their opponents argue that's against the rules but a higher up argues that well technically there's no rule to say that a dog can't compete. Yeah that same rule kind of applies for documentaries because there's nothing definitive that bars documentaries from competing in some of the other quote unquote bigger categories. It just more comes down to whether or not those voting see the documentary as worthy based purely on the merits of what it has to offer. However, I do want to keep this experiment semi-realistic, so I won't be submitting our documentary for nominations in categories that might call into question its authenticity, such as acting and screenplay. Also, I was debating on whether or not it would fit for best production or costume design, but it appears that those awards are looking more towards the fictional works, so they will not be counted. But I can include nominations for sound and even cinematography, as documentaries have actually been nominated in those categories in the past. So anything that a documentary has been nominated for, I'm going to include. The record holder for a documentary with the most Oscar nominations is Woodstock with three nominations, and only one documentary in history has won more than one Academy Award, and that is an inconvenient truth. I mean, the title of the documentary is an inconvenient truth, not the fact that documentaries haven't won more than one. So, if we had a documentary that went all out with all the categories that I believe it would be in contention for, I estimate that it has the possibility for eight Oscars, almost triple the current record holder for nominations, and quadruple the record if it did a clean sweep. But unfortunately, it isn't enough to reach the top. So we're going to have to look at another type of film. Okay, so before we move on to the other possibilities, I just want to clear something up quickly. There are two categories for screenplay, original screenplay and adapted screenplay. Since the numbers for our film would be the same regardless of whichever one I picked, I'm just going to say that our work is an adaptation. So, you find a book and you know it has what it takes to be the next best thing, but upon reading it, you think it would actually work better as an animated film. Would that impact the amount of awards we can go for? But once again, yes, but also no. Again, there's no distinct rule that says animated films can't be nominated for certain other categories. The only concrete word I can find is regards to motion capture films, but only in that they're not eligible as animated features. While animated films have been nominated for Best Picture in the past, no directors or actors have been nominated for their specific work on an animated film. 
but there's nothing to say that they couldn't be nominated. This is a discussion that's been talked about for a while now. Heck, I even briefly touched upon it in an old video of mine talking about motion capture performances. So, good news, we can consider our actors for contention, but there seems to be a grey area with other categories, particularly with cinematography, production design, and costume design. I feel that there would be too much confusion on whether or not an animated film will be eligible for these categories, as what is done through animation is done differently from how a live action film will go about these, and I feel that it would be best if animated films would perhaps have a separate category for their style and artistry with how they go about designing what we see on screen, you know, if Academy Award members actually watched animated films. But I feel we can leave editing in. And an interesting fact about best visual effects is that while I was hesitant to include this, there have actually been animated films that have been nominated for this, so we're going to include it as well. Okay, so now for our big moment. Our animated film has broken boundaries as we look to see if they can also break records. The 1991 Beauty and the Beast and Wally hold the record for most nominations with six each, while no animated film has won more than two awards. So, how does our film fare? 13 nominations. While falling behind our target, it's still an amazing feat, and history will be made as our film becomes the first animated film to join the big five winners. These are the films that have won the five major awards, so we still have a lot to be proud of. But we want to try again. We find another book, adapt it into the next big blockbuster. It has everything going for it. The people love it, critics rave about it, and it even climbs its way to become the highest grossing film of all time. Until Disney makes Avatar and Avengers Endgame play hot potato with record by re-releasing them for the 12th time. Now, this one is pretty straightforward. Outside of best documentary, best animated feature, and the short film categories, everything is fair game. Our film is going for it all. How many Oscars can our film potentially win? That answer is 16. It's close, but our film has managed to break the record. 16 Academy Awards is the highest number that a film can possibly reach at this current moment in time. Except, not quite. See, there's another category that I haven't been including, and it's pretty fitting that I save this for last, considering what happened last year. And the Oscar goes to... Parasite. <laughs> Parasite shook the world by winning Best Picture last year, becoming the first non-English language film to win that award. It was the cherry on top of the ice cream for the hit film, as it meant that it can now join the likes of Fanny and Alexander, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, as being the most successful foreign language film at the Oscars with four wins, with Ang Lee's epic also holding the record for most nominations with ten. You know what this means? You have a book. A production company and a studio from another country wants to adapt this work. It becomes the best thing since this picture of Steve Owen standing next to Mr. Rogers who is wearing a shirt of Bob Ross with a rainbow in the background. And when it comes to the awards night, our international wonder walks home with 17 Academy Awards. I know that the Academy Awards aren't perfect. The awards themselves shouldn't be the be or say all on whether or not a film has made it. I'm a film nerd who likes films and numbers way too much. I'm sure you're very shocked to hear that considering you just heard me talk non-stop about films and numbers. But making this video was fun for me. And talking about the Academy Awards is kind of fun for me. Even if it does trip and stumble sometimes, I think the overall thing can still be fun if you don't take it too seriously and if you just enjoy it for what it is. So I wanted to make something that was fun for you to watch as it was fun for me to make and to research and to find all these little interesting little facts and things about previous Oscars and about certain films that did or did not get nominations. I don't know what I want to do with this YouTube channel. All I know is that I'm just going to try to have fun and hopefully others will have fun along the way by watching this. And if that's the case, then it'll be worth it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and stay safe.